My name is Dr. P. C. Patel, Professor and Chief Soil Specialist, Man Agriculture Institute, and Parul University and Mati Mati Agromod Private Limited, Anand Gujarat, India. So the, today, the topic of my YouTube is importance of iron in agriculture production. So micronutrients, so micronutrients play key role in metabolic activities of the plant, function of which are given below. So iron in the soil is the fourth abundant element on earth but its amount was low or not available for the plant and microorganisms need due to low solubility of minerals containing iron in many places in the world, especially in arid region with alkaline soil. High deficiency causes yellowing of leaf. So the importance of micronutrients in agriculture production. So you can see that micronutrients are required by the plant in a small or very less quantity yet it is essential for plant growth and survival. So iron is absorbed by plant root as Fe2, active iron, Fe3, so function of iron. It helps in the synthesis of chlorophyll, structural component of propyrin molecules like cytochrome, hematine, hems, ferrochrome, and hemoglobin. The structures are involved in oxidation reduction reactions reactor in respiration and photosynthesis, structural component of non-hemine compound like paradoxin, constitute of enzyme system, cytochrome oxidase, catalyst nitrogenous reaction in plant. So what is iron chlorosis? The primary symptoms of iron deficiency is intervenal chlorosis, the development of yellow leaf with the network of dark green veins. So you can see here the vein remain green, but other portion become chlorotic. So in severe case, the entire leaf turn yellow or white, and the other edges may scratch and turn brown as the plant shall die. In some areas, vegetation from the entire landscape may be affected, while in others, only the most susceptible plants show deficiency symptoms. So here you can see that I deficiency in citrus leaves with severe intervenous chlorosis stock. Then iron deficiency in groundnut. So here on the left side, iron deficiency, on the right side, healthy plant. You know that uh, due to indiscriminate use of the chemical fertilizers, there will be the multinutrient deficiency present at India as other we had globally. So in 1950 in India, we have observed the nitrogen deficiency. In 1960, nitrogen and iron. And at present, we are observing the deficiency of nitrogen, iron, zinc, phosphorus, potassium, boron, manganese, cobalt, and so on. So the farmers are not applied the organic manures, and they are only use the chemical fertilizer resulted in the at present we are observed the multi nutrient deficiency in soil. So causes of iron chlorosis, soil pH is too high, soil has too much clay, compacted or overly wet soil, too much phosphorus in the soil. So compacted soil. So here you can see that when the soil is porous good soil structure, then you can see the growth of the plant. Whereas in right side, the soil is compacted, so poor growth and poor root. So porous soil is required for better growth of the plant. To solve this problem of the compaction, we should have to improve the drainage and aeration of the soil by adding organic matter. Other condition causes chlorosis. Large phosphorus correction bandage next to the seed row may also intensify and deficiency. Since iron phosphate is one of the less soluble phosphate, already low levels of iron in soil solution may become worse during dry, wet, or cold weather when root uptake is less or root system are damaged. If phosphorus application greater than 14 to 15 kg per acre are planted on Potentially chlorated field growers should be prepared to apply foliar iron as required. 
So you know that there is antagonistic effect between the phosphorus and iron. So when we are adding the more phosphorus in soil, or so naturally, it is more phosphorus in soil, then there will be possibility of the iron deficiency. And for that, we have to add the uh, soil application of 20 kg sulfate per hectare, or we have to foliar spray of 0.5 percent foliar spray. So diagnosis of problem. So visual symptoms are often the best indicator of whether or not to treat chlorotic fill or part of fill for iron chlorosis. So how you can know? So you can you can uh, so suppose uh, you have grown the tomato crop, then uh, you uh, you spray to the some area, then uh, with the ferrous sulfate 0.5% with the hand sprayer. And if there is a recovery, then you assume that uh, there is iron deficiency, so you have to spray the whole field with 0.5% ferrous sulfate. So the problem of iron deficiency chlorosis in different parts of India, particularly in Maharashtra and Tamil Nadu state, it describes. The most affected crop are sugarcane, sorghum, groundnut, and legumes. So, for the correction of the uh, iron chlorosis, we should have to apply the episol through the soil or as foliar spray. Deficiency symptoms. Deficiency symptoms occur in younger leaves since iron is immobile element within a plant. So, we are observing the and deficiency in top leaves or new emerging leaf. It occurs in soil of calcareous or alkaline soil and poorly drained waterlogged soil. So in problematic soil, sodic soil or alkaline soil, we are observed the and deficiency. Younger leaves develop intervenal chlorosis with progress rapidly over the entire leaf. Severe cases, the entire leaf turn into white. So iron chlorosis in sorghum, then I have deficiency in sorghum. You can see intervenal chlorosis, the vein remain green, but other portion become chlorotic. So it is characteristic of the iron deficiency and you will observe the deficiency of the iron in top leaves and not in older leaves. So iron deficiency in corn maize, so you have typical intervenal chlorosis, the Vein remain greens, other portion become chlorotic. So, iron deficiency in corn, you can see the growth of the plant is stunted. Iron deficiency in rice crop, and iron deficiency in rice cream, you can see the yellowish patches. Then, iron deficiency in sugarcane crop, in a sugarcane crop. In Gujarat, grown in South India, Surat, Balsar, and Nausari districts. So you can see an iron deficiency in groundnut crop, in groundnut crop grown in Saurashtra area, and the soil of the Saurashtra area is calcareous, so they have the problem of the iron deficiency. So strong iron deficiency in peanut groundnut on younger leaves. So you can see the leaves become chlorotic, they converted into yellow in it. Then interval chlorosis pattern characteristics of iron chlorosis of the soybean plant. So a field with reduced iron deficiency chlorosis symptom in areas where soil was compacted by wheel traffic. So you know that at present the farmers are using the tractors. So due to the compacted soil, we are observing the iron deficiency in a soil. Then diagnosis iron deficiency in filthy, then iron deficiency in brinjal, then iron deficiency on garden tomato, then symptoms of iron damage on tomato leaves, and chlorosis in citrus crop, iron deficiency in banana crop, iron deficiency in mango crop, then uh, iron toxicity in rice crop cultivation under acid sulfate soil. So in acid soil, the iron ability is more. So we are observing the iron toxicity in rice crop. Yeah. 
आई एम वर्किंग एज ए चीफ सोइल हेल्थ स्पेशलिस्ट एट सीवा मेगरी क्लिनिक नेगरी लेबोरेटरी भावनगर तो आई एम रिक्वेस्टेड टू द फार्मर डेट कैरी आउट सॉइल वाटर एंड प्लांट टेस्टिंग फॉर न्यूट्रिय एज वेल एज प्लांट डिसीज डायग्नोसिस बैक्टीरिया फंजाई नेमेटोड्स एंड आवर अदर फॉर्म नेम इज माटी माटी एग्रो माट प्राइवेट लिमिटेड भावनगर तो प्लीज कॉन्टेक्ट और हेल्पलाइन नंबर प्लस नाइन वन सिक्स थ्री फाइव नाइन फाइव नाइन फाइव नाइन फाइव नाइन सो वी हैव द आई सी पी ओ ये साइंटिफिक इंस्ट्रूमेंट मशीन एंड फॉर वी आर कैरिड आउट द सॉइल वाटर प्लांट एनालिसिस एज वेल एज द डायग्नोसिस ऑफ द प्लांट डिसीजेस तो करेक्टिंग आई डेफिशंसी तो वेन देर इज ए लो पी पी एम हाई पी पी एम लेस देन फाइव देन वी शुड हैव टू अप्लाई फेरासल्फेट नाइनटीन परसेंट एट द रेट ऑफ फिफ्टी के जी पर हेक्टर वेन दे फाइव टू टेन पी पी एम इन सॉइल देन इट इज मीडियम देन अप्लाई फेरासल्फेट एट द रेट ऑफ फिफ्टीन के जी पर हेक्टर वेन दे आयन इज ग्रेटर देन टेन पी पी एम इन सॉइल देन सफिशेंट आयन और हाई आयन सो इफ And the pressure of the standing column that will spray a 0.5 percent ferrosulfate and make neutral pH solution with PBH buffer solution, or use dilute sodium hydroxide. So depend depending upon the severity of the ion, we can spray two to three will spray. So recommendation of correction of ion deficiency in groundnut crop in Gujarat. So low, lesser than five, then I add ferrosulfate 75 kg per hectare. To soil or spray 1% percent ferrosulfate plus 0.01% percent citric acid, 15 gram ferrosulfate plus 1.5 gram citric acid dissolved in 10 liters of water at 30, 50, and 50 days after soil. Do it in 70 days. Medium, then the concentration is 50 kg per hectare of the ferrosulfate, and concentration is 1% percent, 0.01% percent, then then high. Then spraying of one percent ferrosulfate plus point zero one percent citric acid, fifteen gram ferrosulfate plus one point five gram citric acid dissolved in ten liter of water at thirty, fifty, and seventy days after sowing elevate and deficiency in standing crop of the groundnut. So effect of sulphur treatment on yield and uptake of iron, zinc, and manganese by corn, sorghum, and soybean. So the result negative that element of sulphur treatment was an effective means. To elevate iron chlorosis as well as to increase yield for corn or maize, sorghum, and soybean in calcareous soil. So, response of foliar spray of ferrosulfate along with citric acid on acid lime to control iron cleases. So, I have taken a pH problem twenty years back. So, control of the iron chlorosis. The result suggests that the foliar spray of point one percent. Iron as ferrosulfate in 0.05 percent citric acid solution proved more effective compared to other treatment in controlling these iron chlorosis in citrus crop or it is acid lime. The another treatment having ferrosulfate 0.25 percent and citric acid 0.25 percent foliar spray can also control the chlorosis of the citrus trees in acid lime. So if you have a link like in my YouTube, then please subscribe my channel. The link. of my channel is so thank you so again thank you and if you have any problem related to nutrient deficiency or iron deficiency or if you want to correct the soil or low crop productivity then contact me thank you again